In the past few weeks, Ben Carson has had a number of different controversial comments about the Department of Education, the war on drugs, Muslims, and things of that sort. But is that actually hurting him with Republican primary voters, or is it perhaps helping him? Now, we want to give you, before we give you the results, we want to remind you of some of the things that he said. So, Jared Jackson put together this montage. You know, Obamacare is really, I think, the worst thing that has happened in this nation since slavery. And it is, in a way, it is slavery, in a way. I, I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. I absolutely would not agree with that. But just clarify, if, if there had been no gun control uh, laws in Europe at that time, would six million Jews have been slaughtered? I think the likelihood of, of Hitler being able to accomplish his goals would have been greatly diminished if the people had been armed. He also recently said that he wants to turn the Department of Education basically into Big Brother, where students would be ratting out political bias in their teachers, and that he wants to massively accelerate and enhance the war on drugs. Well, that's a really good thing because teachers are the obvious problem in this country. I think yeah. so. And it's about time some uh, Republican was brave enough to attack them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as we said, is this helping it, him? Is it hurting him? We know basically it's the Republican primary voters. It's certainly not going to do much damage. And in this case, we recently showed you a couple days ago, he's now up big over Trump in Iowa. So specifically in Iowa, 81% approved of Carson's comment that Obamacare is the worst thing that's happened in this nation since slavery. 81% approved of it. 77% said they liked his statement that Hitler's rise could have been stopped if German citizens had had guns. And 73% liked his concerns about a Muslim becoming president. They did have guns. They walked into a beer hall in Munich and, and said, I'm in charge now. That's what they did with their guns. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And and so, yeah. Uh, of course, Hitler had deregulated guns and apparently didn't really help, yeah. right? Uh, and so, uh, I, I'm stunned by, by these numbers, even though I know how bad the Republican voters are. I know the base. I, I know the uh, last presidential run uh, about uh, in Mississippi and Alabama, between 21 and 29 percent of Republican primary voters said that marrying between the races, not gay marriage, between the black people and white people, that should be illegal. Okay, it's unbel unbelievable, right? So how could I still be surprised? But these numbers are not a little above. They're not a quarter. They're not a little above 50 percent. They're overwhelming. Yeah, 81 percent saying Obama cares the worst thing since slavery. If you said to me. Hey, the issues you care most about, my God, all the gun deaths in this country, is that the worst thing since slavery? I'd be like, whoa, wait a minute, now I gotta think about that. Like, that's yeah. a huge, huge statement. I would I would think long and hard before I say, look, money in politics has killed our democracy. You know how much I care about that. Is it the worst thing since slavery? I don't know, man. Wait a minute, I gotta think about that. That's a heavy charge, right? And he's like, oh yeah, if you're trying to get health care for people who don't have health care. Ah, the worst thing since slavery. Eighty-one percent of Republicans are like, "Way to go, Ben!" It is slavery. It is slavery. It's it, hard. I'd say worse up than slavery. Every day, waking up knowing that I'm covered if I have some <laughs> yeah. sort of illness. It's horrible yeah. to live under that tyranny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, healthcare access is the worst thing you can do to people. <laughs> yeah. No, that uh, was a huge part of slavery. Yeah, access. they would. Oh, the, the slaves had. They could go to the doctor all the time. Everyone knew it. They had dental care and stuff, and that's why they hated yeah. it. You have a sniffle. You go to the medical yeah. tent. Yeah. 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 What, how you feeling? How's you, you? It looked like you cut your finger picking that cotton. I'm going to have to give you some mm. time off. Go see the doctor. Yeah. yeah, and John Brown. The whole thing was about day at not having access to PPOs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's sort of understandable that he wouldn't fundamentally understand the importance of having health care because before becoming a politician, he was just a doctor. <laughs> Didn't yeah. seem to affect him, but, but I've got a scarier number perhaps than the others, just because of how high it is. Ninety-six percent said they find Carson's common sense attractive, oh, and eighty-nine percent said they like that he is guided by his faith. So that second part, not that surprising. By the way, only thirty-two percent of those surveyed believe uh, Trump is a committed Christian, and that could actually end up hurting him significantly. But common sense. Ben Carson, 96% like that. This is the state, though, that elected a senator whose highest qualification was she knows how to cut the balls off a pig. I mean, that's, that's what true. her thing that's was. That's true. They, that's her. Bring them. That's, we want that one. Oh. Yeah, that was Jody Ernst, and she bragged about it in an ad. I forgot about that. That was very successful in Iowa. Like, oh, she's a ball cutter. I like her. <laughs> she's got a lot of common sense. You don't want to leave the pigs with balls. Yeah. You should see what she'll do to a howler monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so, um,
And look, it's amazing to me that guys like Chuck Todd, who just as recent as last December, asked a question on his show of, of, of Lewis Black. He said, do you think that satirical comedy is making the electorate more cynical? Cynical. Oh. This is from the number one guy running is Ben Carson. And you think, fucking satire can't even keep up. Are you <laughs> shitting me? Yeah, yeah. And so, look, one note of uh, caution here about Iowa polling and Iowa results. Um, Iowa is even more religious in the Republican base than most other states, right? Now, I know the re Republican base is very religious in a lot of places, obviously in the South as well. But Pat Robertson did uh, much better in Iowa when, he, believe it or not, he ran for president once. Um, and, and he did really well in Iowa because there's a huge evangelical base in Iowa on the Republican side. So that's why they're going to vote. They're they're more likely to support Carson over Trump in Iowa than they would, for example, in New Hampshire or yeah, other places. True. So don't take Carson's lead in Iowa as that's it. He's going to lead everywhere. No, his religiosity matters more in Iowa than it does in some of the other states. True. So that's why he's leading Trump in that case. But back to the scary numbers. Um, look. I get it. Republicans believe they're guns, and if it wasn't for guns, Hitler, Mao, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not surprised by that one, right? Um, but when Carson said, "Hey, I don't think a Muslim should be president," that's obviously unconstitutional. Like, this, you, there should be no religious test for office. It's in the Constitution. It couldn't be any clearer. If you like your whole Second Amendment, oh, it's just, it's Constitution. well, you should also like that part. It was such an outrageous statement that even Ted Cruz walked away from it, right? Um, and people were like, is that going to hurt him? Well, I, we didn't ask that question on the air because we knew it would help him, right? Yeah. Because they don't understand the Neanderthals that are the Republican base. The Chuck Todds of the world, they're still acting as if Republican voters in primaries are rational human beings. They're not. Like you ask him, a core part of our Constitution, we do not establish a religion. You have freedom of religion in the country, it could be any religion you want, and there is no religious test for office. Two different parts of the Constitution, mm -hmm. super corridor Constitution. In Iowa, they're like, Constitution, who cares, man? I hate Muslims. Oh, I like that Ben yeah. Carson guy calling out Muslims I hate. That's common sense.